Lighting. Lighting is one of, if not the most important tool when it comes to scale modeling. There are so many options when it comes to choosing a lamp that things can get quite difficult. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at one of those options and seeing how it performs. And here's what I'm going to be looking at, the BenQ WIT e-reading lamp. The folks over at BenQ recently got in touch and asked me if I'd like to review this lamp. They said that although it's a desk lamp, it's ideally suited for scale models. So I said, sure, why not? And before we take a look inside the box, let's have a look at the price and the specs. The WIT e-reading desk lamp retails at £179. There are also two accessories available, a desk clamp at $22.50 and a floor stand extension for $67.50. On paper, the lamp looks pretty good. It is an LED lamp with an illuminance rating of 1,800 lux at a height of 40 centimeters, which is pretty bright. It also has an adjustable color temperature from 2,700 to 5,700 Kelvin, which is gonna be really useful for making sure your colors look accurate. Being an LED lamp, the power consumption is pretty low at 18 watts. So with the important information out of the way, let's take a look inside the box. The lamp comes in a fairly sizable cardboard box with a polystyrene insert. Each individual component is wrapped in polythene bags, not shown. So in theory, it should be safe from even the most clumsy of post person. The stand has a nice low profile and is around 22 centimeters across. It's also really heavy, making a good counterbalance for the rest of the lamp. The lamp itself is of a pretty funky design. I quite like it. It's made out of sturdy metal and resin and has a nice braided cord. You also get the standard safety instructions, a quick start guide, and an Allen key for attaching the lamp to the base. The power supply unit comes in its own separate cardboard box. This is fairly chunky, so you'll need to make sure your sockets have enough clearance. Also included are a selection of international and British plugs. Assembly, as you'd imagine, is fairly straightforward. You drop the lamp onto the base and tighten up the Allen key. You then need to attach your desired plug, connect the power supply to the cable, and you're good to go. The lamp is touch activated. All you need to do to turn it on is press the chrome loop. Tapping this loop also cycles between a book reading function and a screen reading function. These both differ in color temperature and dim the center section of the lamp, helping to reduce eye strain when focusing for long periods of time. The second control on the lamp is the dial you see on the top. This has two functions. One setting adjusts brightness, and if you press it again, that will adjust the color temperature of the light being output. The lamp itself features a high degree of posability, allowing you to position its wide beam to get the most out of your lighting setup. Let's take a look at the adjustable color temperature. The color range varies from a warm orangey yellow all the way through to a cool blue. For scale modeling, you'd want one of the cooler settings, but the ability to fine tune the color is brilliant. Here you can see how the different light temperatures affect the look of a model you might be working on on the workbench.
And when you've got your light dialed in perfectly and set at around 30 centimeters from the workbench, you can see the result. The light is even and the colors are crisp and clear. For color accuracy, I think this lamp is really good. Using a good quality lamp like this will also help you to pick out details that would usually be difficult to see under normal lighting. The reading function is also great for instructions or books. The lighting surrounding the page is slightly brighter than that of the centre. In theory, this helps protect against eye strain from staring at a bright page for too long. The screen function I'm not entirely sure about as I don't own a computer or a laptop, so that bit isn't really that applicable to me. So, what did I think about the BenQ WIT e-reading lamp? Well, I'll start with what I don't like. There are two main things I'm not so hot on. Number one, the price. Hey, I know you have to pay for quality, but I do think this lamp is a tad expensive. That being said, it does carry an extra feature that most lamps don't, and that's the adjustable colour temperature. My second bugbear is the lack of a desk clamp included in the box. Now I know production costs can be high, but I don't think a desk clamp is worth £22.50. The base is really sturdy, but it's also quite large, which takes up quite a big area of your workspace, so to have the clamp in the box with the lamp would be ideal. So, what do I like about this lamp? Well, there's actually quite a lot to like. It's well built and sturdy, and I also think it looks quite stylish. The light is definitely bright enough for everyday modeling, and the adjustable color temperature is a real selling point. In the week I've had this lamp, it's been a firm fixture on my workbench. I've been using it alongside my studio lighting as a more direct light source. I've also been using it to read, and for both purposes, it works really well. But like I said at the very beginning of the video, good lighting is important. And for those of you out there who don't have a good lighting setup, maybe it's time to start thinking about one and reduce the strain on your eyes and allow you to model more accurately. And before I go, I want to give a huge thanks to my patrons. You guys are awesome and your support helps keep the channel running. Thank you.